Assalamu alaikum. In the previous video, I have explained the repulsive property of charges with the help of a simple experiment. In this video, I will demonstrate the attractive property of charges with the help of another simple experiment. For that, I take a disposable cup provided with a hole. Here I have one. I'm going to fill this up with the water. Then I take a, a straw. I rub this straw with a tissue paper. When I do so, the straw gets negatively charged. Now I take this cup, I hold this in my hand in this manner. As you can see, the water rejects out in the form of a stream, fine stream. When I bring the straw near to this, look at this carefully what happened. You can see water stream bends. It is due to attractive property of this uh, straw. Here a straw attracts water stream. So it uh, bends. Now I will uh, repeat the same experiment with uh, this uh, PVC pipe. I am going to rub this PVC pipe with uh, woolen cloth. Again when the uh, PVC pipe is rubbed with uh, woolen cloth it occurs negative charge. This time the number of charges are more compared to the straw. I repeat the same once again. And see what happens when I bring it close. You can see when the pipe is far away, still it, it can able to attract the water stream. This is due to the attractive property of charges. What happens here when we charge two objects? Let me explain this to you. We know almost everything in the universe is made of atoms. These atoms have electrons carrying negative charge and revolving around the positively charged nucleus. The nucleus carry protons and the neutrons. The protons provide a positive charge to the nucleus. An atom consists of equal number of electrons and protons. So they are electrically neutral. They are electrically neutral. That means The net charge is zero. When we rub two objects together, what happens? Atom either gains electron or they give electron to another object. Suppose if an atom gains electron, then it becomes negatively charged with the increase of number of electrons. We call such a negatively charged atom as an ion. If the reverse thing occurred, suppose an atom leaves or gives out electron, in such case it will become positively charged. One such positively charged atom is referred as cation. Here, this process of conversion of atom into ion is referred as ionization. Here, when I rub the straw with a tissue paper, 
the tissue paper gives out electrons to the straw. So it becomes positively charged and this one becomes negatively charged. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put your question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.